Hey, uh, how you doing today? Uh, Mr. Charles from Womax Wood Carvings. And I apologize for being away for a while. Um, had a bit of an injury and I'm still trying to recover from that. But anyway, um, I wanted to show you a little something I picked up the other day at Harbor Freight. Um, I don't know how the glare is on this. Um, heavy duty guaranteed Bauer variable speed precision crafting rotary tool. 4,000 to 20,000 RPM. Engraving, sanding, cutting. Um, if anybody's interested in this, there is the model number 1967E-B. Um, picked this up the other day. Picked this up the other day at Harbor Freight. And um, comes a little pack of uh, your standard Dremel type accessories. Um, one thing it's neat, it came with an extra collet and extra... Um, I guess the nut that goes over to call it, little ranch, a few pretty decent quality little sanding uh, drums, and uh, looks like a few little, um, I don't know if it's just high-speed high steel or uh, carbide bits, um, a couple of little, looks like possibly ceramic bits in there maybe. And um, this is the little tool here, and uh, plugs in um, to you all. Um, it is corded. It is variable speed. I like that. Uh, got the standard collet wrench. Got the lock on the back. So when you take the burrs out. Now in it I have uh, one of uh, my favorite burrs. One of Tata's. For those of you not familiar with Tata, I encourage you to check them out. Tata Tools. Um, I have one of their tungsten carbide burrs in here. Awesome, awesome, awesome burrs. But uh, anyway, this little Bauer, this is the Bauer, like I said, tool. I got this and thought, um, I'm going to give it a try and see what it does. You know, it might be good for light sanding, light carbon work. And I tell you, I've been using it for several hours, and I am just very impressed. Um, this is usually my go-to. It is a um, micro motor um, hand piece for a master carver, Okay. This is usually my go-to. Now, it, it will turn about 45,000 RPM. Once again, I got a Tata burr in it. Um, very similar in uh, size. This is extremely light, very ergonomic. I like the way it feels. Um, you do have some cooling vents down here. I did run this, like I said, for, oh, probably 30, 40 minutes at a time and uh, it got a little warm but not hot didn't overheat seemed to work very well and uh the price point on this thing was uh around 28 dollars i did not pay for an extended warranty you got a 90 day warranty it comes with it um you can uh pay a little extra i think it was 12 bucks and you get a a year anything happens to it replacement warranty i did not opt for that but uh I'm going to tell you, I'm just extremely impressed with this little guy. And I thought I'd show it to you and um, just cut on a few things. And I'm not going to turn my dust collector box on, okay, because just uh, just for demonstration, I do always, when I am carving, I always have my dust collector box on. And another good thing, it's always um, advisable, even if you got a dice dust collector, I'd recommend just some type of little little type of dust mask now these are the cheap mask once again they're harbor freight tools disposable face pack uh, face mask comes in a little tin pack um you know these are non-medical okay i see a lot of people wearing these with uh wearing them out in public for you know for various reasons but anyway they are non-medical okay but they're great for for dust they keep um just a little added protection, okay? Um, I will mention, too, um, while I'm at it, I also like uh, safety glasses, okay? Now, I wear bifocals. If you'll notice, these safety glasses have bifocals in the bottom of them. Um, I love it. Love them. Uh, I have no idea what brand they are. Um, I think I picked these up at a woodcraft store. I've seen them at the local hardware store, various other places. You can get them online, Amazon, eBay, whatever your flavor. Um, but anyway, never mind. I'm going to um, gonna turn this thing on. I'm going to just show you. Okay, we got 
slow speed, extremely slow. Um, and then you got your speed as this cranker on up, okay? Now I'm running it wide open. And um, you can see this, it cuts uh, very well. I am very, very, you can see that well, I'm very impressed with the ability of this tool, okay? Now, um, very, very excited about it, very impressed with it, it, it cuts great. Um, it seems to have quite a bit of torque for the little tool that it is. Um, I did notice, which is something I kind of do like, um, if you push really, really, really hard, I mean, uh, really you're hogging um, out with something, it will shut off, okay? And then you simply hit the button, power button, fires back up. And I imagine that's some kind of circuit device overload they put in it, but very impressed with this little guy. I mean, it's so light. Um, I intended on using it like for some light detail sanding or something, um, which would be great, you know, with um, flap wheel sanders or flap disc sanders or, you know, these type sanding disc. Um, I've got these type that I make. They work great with it. Um, you simply just get you a mandrel made for the uh, cutoff wheels and put you some sandpaper on there and makes a nice flap sanding tool but anyway i wanted to share that with you and uh thought you might be interested in it very impressed with it um you know will it hold up over time i don't know we'll find out but for the money um i'm willing to give it a go and see what happens i mean very impressed with it like i said it's it's ergonomically i know a lot of people use the dremel and with the pin on it, um, you know, the flex shaft and all, which is, which is great, you know, works great, it's, uh, tried and true. But this, this little guy here, um, very impressed, very impressed. Now, like I said, it's not going to have the torque of the big Dremel and, and stuff like that. But I know technology's come a long way and uh, very impressed with this little guy. So we'll see how it lasts. But anyway, I thank you for stopping in. I hope you'll like and share, and we'll be back to you with some more videos real soon. Thank you.